Now I'm going to teach you how to manipulate a single video visual across multiple surfaces to create a really cool effect by actually duplicating, or in this case I have three videos uh, on three different surfaces, but the audience will assume it's one uh, actual single video file and because it creates a single image, just like you're seeing right now. We have the single graphic which is coming across all three screens and uh, at the moment it looks like I'm just uh, using a single uh, single video uh, to play which is projected on those surfaces. In reality, if I did that, um, this is what you would actually get. You would get a very distorted uh, logo in the middle uh, because it's fitting too wide. You would be cutting off the logo on the sides, all that horrible stuff. So what I'm actually doing what I'm actually doing is I'm making sure that the center video uh, actually is the right uh, shape and perspective, which is pretty close right there. And then uh, let me show you here. I actually have three surfaces already mapped as three different um, uh, uh, surfaces on one projector, as you already know. There's the left one. I have a center one and a right one. Um, now, if we go in here to this group that I made, uh, this is all that the left video is playing. That is the entire left video. It's only playing the left corner of that video scene, um, of that video clip. Uh, the right video is once again only playing the right side of that video clip. And the center is actually only showing kind of the middle of the video, the one that's highlighting the logo towards the end. So. Um, as of now, I'm playing them out of sequence, which is why you're getting these weird graphics. But if I hit escape, and you're gonna to wanna to load this, make sure you do a preload because these videos have to be in perfect sync for that nice visual. So we're gonna hit the L key to load that group. Now everything's getting ready, it's all synced, and ready to go. We're gonna fire that cue, and now watch how the center graphic um, kind of overflows into the side screens and creates a beautiful image as you, uh, as you get your logo to be perfectly in the center or whatever graphic you wanted to have in the center um, to, to look great. So I think it's a beautiful way to manipulate your stage into having multiple surfaces and using one video visual even though you actually have the left corner of this one, the right corner of this one, and the center of that. So just to show you here one more time, uh, this is a custom geometry image and I am moving that image around uh, as you can see here, if I put that in center, you're going to get the logo. I don't want that. I'm going to put it right there like that. Uh, the left image is also on custom geometry. I do not want to show that logo. Uh, on the left screen, I only want the overflow. So I'm going to move the logo just off like that. And that should be perfect. Now when we play this next clip, um, it should start and you start to see those trails coming right out and it just looks awesome. Anyway, hope you have fun with that and uh, I hope it can contribute something to your shows and your presentations.